In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a mega menu for free using the Elements Kit Mega Menu Builder. To get started, we are going to come over here to our dashboard, come over to plugins, add a new plugin, and we are going to search for a plugin called Elements Kit. Once it shows up right here, simply install and activate. At the moment, it has over 20,000 active installations. And for myself, I have it activated. Once you have it activated, it will show up right here. And once it shows up here, simply come over here to the Elements Kit, click over there. And here it will take us to their welcome screen. And when we come over here to the Elements, it shows you all the available elements you can use in your Elementor website for free and all those that are pro elements. Now in this case, we are interested in the modules and make sure that the mega menu module is activated. By activated, I mean it should be turned on, then simply hit save changes. Once you are done with that, make sure that also your header and footer module is enabled because you will need to first create a header and a footer before you actually create a mega menu with elements kit. You have to note that you cannot use the elements kit mega menu module if you have the headers and footers created with Elementor. So you'll have to create your header and footer using elements kit so that the mega menu module will work with your Elementor website. Next we are going to do now is to create headers. So you simply come over here to your template and then you can come over here and then you create a header. But in this case, you're going to watch this tutorial up here in the card or in the description box below on how you can create headers and footers using Elements Kit. Once you are done creating your header and footer using Elements Kit, then you are going to come over here to Appearance, come to Menus, and you'll make sure that you have your main menu selected, the one you're using in your headers. Now in this case, I have my main menu here, and what I'm going to do is simply enable Mega Menu for this menu. I save changes. And once I save changes, now I can add a mega menu to any of these pages right here. Now by hovering over here, I can have a mega menu option. In this case, we are going to add a mega menu to the about page, services page, and then also the contact page. So I'll simply click over here. And then I will have to enable the mega menu option here. And then I'll simply edit. When I come over here to the edit option, that means I can start creating sections for my mega menu right here. I have already this section added because I already added a section using one of the templates from Elementor and the way you can do that you simply come over here to templates area and you can get a block of your choice. For example when I come over here to blocks you can select a block that you want to use in your mega menu option and insert it into your editor. Or you can simply create everything from scratch by simply adding column sections right here and add the widgets from the widgets library here to your column section. Okay. Now once you are done, you can actually make any of these sections clickable and when someone clicks over this section can go to a specific page on your website, you can even make changes to the color, the styling and all that stuff just like you know how to create stuff with Elementor. Now once you are done with that, simply hit save changes and now we are done creating a mega menu for our about page. Then now here you'll also save changes and then we close over this. Then we'll come over here to services. We click on mega menu. Make sure that it is enabled here. Edit the mega menu with Elementor and boom. I already have a section added to my services section. And the same you can do using your Elementor page builder like adding a section and all that stuff. Or by simply coming over here to the elements kit library. And then you can pick up a section that you want to use. Once you are done choosing a section that you want to use, right over there, you simply come over here, save changes, and boom, you are done. And the next one here, you have to save changes to your section, and then simply close over there, come over here to your contact page, enable the mega menu, then edit with Elementor. Then once the editor opens up right here, I can come over here to get a pre-made section, come over here to sections, and then I can look up for a section that I want to use, for example, the contact section. And then I can simply select this section or this section. So I'll use this section, which is free. The good thing is that all these sections are perfectly responsive on all devices, so you don't have to be worried about that. Once you are done making your changes, simply hit update. And boom, you are done. We close over this. And make sure that you enable the mega menu for the contact page and save changes. 
and boom now we are done creating our mega menu for our header section now when we come over here to our page we simply reload the page and you realize that for the sections where where we've added the mega menu they have a drop down okay now when i hover over here it shows our mega menu and the same over here and the same over here where we added a mega menu item now the question is how do you make it to be full width to make this section full width like these other sections you simply come over here to your section settings make sure that you select the section itself and make sure that you stretch the section and make it to be full width and i'm simply going to save changes then i'll close this section save this one here and then i'll close over here and then i'll update our menu when i come over here to our page i update our page now when we come to our services you see that now it is full width and then also our about page is full width and full width is made possible when you have your section set to stretch so in a nutshell that's how you can create a mega menu using elements kit for free in case you have any questions comments about this tutorial please let me know down in the comment box below and in case you're new to the channel please give it a subscribe and if you like the video please give it a like thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one